Good morning, Connellsville Area High School, and welcome to Falcon News. Today is Wednesday, September 18th. I'm Sophia Kochis. And I'm Marissa Miner, bringing you today's school news and announcements. This week at CAHS, our homecoming court, Girls Only, will have their photo taken today during Falcon Time. HOCO tickets are on sale all of this week. The girls' soccer team will be playing away facing Cannon McMillan. Good luck, girls. This Friday night, our football team plays at Morgantown. More info on the fan bus later in this broadcast. Now let's turn over to Cole Burkholder for a look at today's weather forecast. Good morning, I'm Cole Burkholder, your weather news reporter. Today will be cloudy with scattered showers throughout the day. Today's high will be 76 and a low of 64. The UV today will be a UV of 4. Tonight's sunset will be at 7.21 p.m. The moon phase tonight is a waning gibbous moon. That's all for today and now back to the desk. Thanks, Cole. Hey. Have you ever gone to throw something away and wonder if it could be recycled? Well, here's a video for you. I hope this skit helped you realize what you can and cannot recycle. You can recycle aluminum cans, soup style cans, plastic water bottles, and paper and cardboard, stuff like that. What you cannot recycle is wrappers, food and milk, things like that, and paper with wax or plastic coating. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to recycle. Thanks for the helpful information, and think before you throw something away again. Excited for our homecoming dance? Tickets are available this week just for just $10 during all lunch periods. Don't miss out. Grab yours before they're gone. The dance is set for Saturday, September 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. Doors open at 5.30. So far, only one group has turned in names for senior class officers. This is the last call for any group that would like to run for senior class officers. The due date to turn in your names to Mrs. Colson is tomorrow, September 19th. Auditions for the 2024 Senior Class Play production of The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe will be on Thursday. Seniors are invited to audition and all grades are welcome to join the crew. More information about the auditions and crew can be found on Mrs. Harbaugh's classroom door, the chorus room. There will be a fan bus provided by the Football Parents Association for this week's away game at Morgantown. Admission to the game is included if you sign up for the bus. Please fill out the Google form by the end of lunch on Friday. Spots are filling fast. Let's see what's for lunch today. Here's Mont with today's lunch menu. Good morning, Falcons. I'm Mont Kelly, and for today's lunch, we'll be having macaroni and cheese, three fish sticks and a roll, sweet potato fries, and sweet peas on the side. And for the alternative menu, we'll be having stuffed crust pizza, chicken filet, spas chicken filet, deluxe steak and cheese sub, and once more, sweet potato fries on the side. Enjoy our lunch, and now back to the desk. Thanks, Mon. Interested in the gaming club? Join Miss Labuda and the rest of the club for a fun, fulfilled day of gaming at Dave & Buster's on Friday, April 25th. The total cost for the trip is $45 in cash only. A lunch buffet at Dave & Buster's is included along with a $20 game card. Money is due October 1st. Please see Miss Labuda in room 120 if you are interested. Also, the Gaming Club controller graphic that you see here was created by Gaming Club President Fiona Porter. We hope to see you there. According to NationalCalendarDay.com, today is National Pet Bird Day. Want to earn college credits while still being in high school? Scan the QR code to see which courses have been approved. Register by the listed deadlines if you are currently in an approved course. See your counselor for questions. Falcon Fuel is looking for juniors or seniors who have study halls that can help the life skills students work. Volunteers need to be patient, kind, understanding, and a good worker. 
Any interested student can email Mrs. Nicholson or Mrs. Lilly, or you can stop in room 113 or 114 to see them. Now let's head over to our sports broadcaster, Kate and Logan, for this week's upcoming sports. I'm Kate and Logan reporting from the Falcon that is bringing you this week's mid-sports recap. On Monday, congratulations to Hunter Kineski, Eli Armstrong, Derek Routson, and Ethan Perica qualifying for Boys Whippy Ole semifinals. Congratulations and good luck. The girls soccer team fell short to Upper St. Clair losing 0-9. Yesterday the girls tennis team had a away match at Greensburg Salem. The boys and girls cross country team had a home meet. The girls volleyball team had a home game against Hemfield and the boys had an away game at Cannon McMillan. And for today, the girls team plays away against Cannon McMillan at 7. Tomorrow, the girls team has an away match against Armstrong at 3. The girls volleyball team plays home with JV at 6 and varsity at 7.15. And to wrap it up for tomorrow, the boys soccer team has a home game against Mount Lebanon with JV at 6 and varsity at 7.30. This Friday, the football team plays away against Morgantown with kickoff at 7. We have the Athletic Player of the Week, Jaden Mickens, to talk about the Falcon football season. Jaden is a running back and linebacker for the Falcons. Good to have you on the set. Thank you for having me. Berlin held up a lot of running plays following AG's passing game. How do you think your team did by adjusting to the difference in play style? Uh, I think we all did our own job. We focused on what we need to do as a as an individual and then it helped us play as a team and we just listened to what our coaches had to say. You had a lot of great runs Friday being able to escape the rush and find the open pocket. What do you do to get ready and train up for, for the week? Uh, I like to watch film, look at other players' uh, mistakes and habits and I like to capitalize off of them. How does your team's win lead your team into this week's game against Morgantown? It gives us a lot of momentum going into this week. Uh, it shows that we're battle tested and that we can really push through anything even though we had a lot of close games this year, it's the first one we actually dug out and won. It just means a lot, and we're ready. Okay, thank you. That's all we have for today. See you next time. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Caden. The Bible Club trip will be held on Friday, April 11th, 2025 in Lancaster, PA. The total cost of the trip is $120, including a $70 non-refundable deposit to reserve your seat. The bus to see Noah is halfway full. If you're planning to go, get your money and turn your permission slips in ASAP. Your first payment of $50 for the trip is due by February 1st. Make sure to bring your own money for Kitchen Kettle Village along with Chick-fil-A on the way home. Again for watching today. Tune in tomorrow. And, and have, have a great, great day, Connellsville.